Okay, so welcome back, everyone. Where did Salsa go? Oh, there she is, looking around. She's right next to me. Oh, there's Salsa. Nurse Taco Stacks. Guess what arrived? It did not finally arrive. I ended up having to buy a new one. The wire stripper. So, I believe the wire stripper is in there. I haven't opened up the package, but I believe it's in there. I ordered that December 15th. It got stuck in transit December 18th, and it has not moved. So I went ahead, uh, got my money back, and then bought a new one last week because it's February now, and I don't think it's showing up. But today is trash picking day. However, it's currently snowing outside. However, on top of that, I will be going out trash picking in my Jeep. Just drive to town, see if there's anything really, like, desirable, because I know over the past couple days... And over the past couple days with all the snow we have, as it's currently snowing right now, um, people just still aren't putting a lot of bulk out, but maybe someone threw away something small and I have to run to town anyway. So uh, we're going to head out there. Probably should do some shoveling. And we'll see what happens today. Should be a good one. We have to uh, have to do as tradition, throw up in our license plate, and we'll probably go through another box or two. It seems like people like that. So I know I have a box, two box, maybe three boxes left from that storage unit. So, let's make it a good one. So there's a snow plow going down that way. Um, I don't know what happened to the other snow plow. First off, this road isn't plowed. This is a state road too, so these usually are plowed before. Just absolutely nothing. Um, I don't know what happened to the other plow, that one that got stuck. So this town only has one plow, I believe. I guess they went out and bought a new one or they're renting something. But kind of shocking that we pay all this money in taxes and they can't even plow these roads. As you see, roads aren't even plowed on days that it snows. It, it's a weird concept. It's a weird concept. Also, I was thinking, we pay money for tolls. Tolls were, oh, tolls were created so that they can pay to build roads. But once those roads were built, they never got rid of the tolls. So they just made money off tolls, even though the purpose of the toll has already been completed. It's a weird concept. All right, whatever you do, don't be this guy, because I can't get by you. Is someone in there? This is like why would you that might be able to fit around that? I mean, the worst thing, I mean, you come down this road, you slide down this road, you can't stop, you just take off their door. Who's, whose possible car could this be? And why would you just leave your door wide open? Huh. Is that a Christmas tree? That's a Christmas tree. Finding Christmas trees still. All right, if there's one thing we're gonna grab, we'll grab something off the taco stacks list. It's not a chair, it's a lamp. Doesn't matter what the weather is, so this road's, eh, it's not too bad. I'm just grabbing a lamp, though. Nah, I'm just dumping snow all on my Jeep. Oh, this thing doesn't even fit. How do you, how do you manage to do that? There we go. You can take the scrapper out of the scrap vehicle. You can't take the scrapper out of the scrap life. Kind of put my hand there and I was like, what's that? Oh, that's the lamp. You can always count on a lamp. Probably, probably pretty dangerous just to park right here, but I want to see what's in this box. Nothing. Uh, no. 
Now you know what? We'll grab that. We're throwing that in here. Should have bought a truck. If enough people press random buttons, like, share, subscribe. Maybe YouTube will compensate me and get me a truck. Just start pressing all random buttons you see on the screen. Comment section, like section, share button, subscribe, everything. We'll add a truck to the repertoire. It's a nice quilt rack. Nice quilt rack. The wicker piece I thought was kind of nice, but I don't think wicker and snow go really well together. Unless it's outdoor wicker, which I could not tell. Alright, so we made it back home. I'm going to throw this lamp into the van. It's kind of a nice quilt rack. It's, I wouldn't say it's new or old, but it's actually in decent shape. There's no, well, at least it appears there's no chunks missing, no chips. The bottoms are still flat. Uh, where am I going to put that? I'll just put it right here for now. Take out this lamp. Now, if it does warm up towards the end of today, I think when I run to the scrapyard, I want to go to the bins. The Goodwill bins. But through Intel, it appears that they might have uh, pallets. Who knows if they're actually good. But um, I would need my van. So it's a pretty decent drive. And I like to... Uh, I like to to do the actual bins itself and then do a pallet but I need my van to go there and if we had the snow it's not going there so hopefully the snow warms up or the, the sun comes out and it warms up out here and melts off at least the top layer that we got overnight which is only like two or three inches of snow and then maybe I'll go to a scrapyard later today and then Either tomorrow or the following day, I'll go to the bins. I have no idea where I'm going to put this. I do need to bring it up to the warehouse, so maybe that's what I'll do. All right. Hmm. Main to the warehouse. I lost train of thought. But look at all the beautiful clutter over here. It's a lot. All right, so we're going to go through a box. They'll go through a box. Um, wow, we, we really are almost complete with this wall. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, go through a box of stuff. I believe all this is garbage. But... Yeah, I think this is money. Yeah, that's all money. It's kind of funny. When I go get pizza, the only place I ever spend change at, I usually always pay with a card, unless it's like a cash-only place, then you have to pay with cash. The only place I ever pay with a change would probably be when I get pizza. And the guy loves it when I bring him change. Because unfortunately around here, the closest bank is like six miles away. This was in... Oh, it looks like it's all just, all just uh, pennies. So I'll bl bring that down to the house. This is also just pennies. Um, so I do remember that was in one box. Whenever I was loading this stuff out of the van, that's got to get probably tossed. It's all water damaged. Not like it's worth a million dollars either. Is this my sweatshirt? This, <laughs> this is my sweatshirt. What's my sweatshirt doing up here? Good old taco stack sweatshirt. So that's got to go down to the house. Throw that into the washing machine. It's pretty chilly in here. All right. So this looks like it's just garbage. Dirty washcloths. I'll grab this one. Never know, somebody might be hiding money in these socks. 
this looks like it's also just garbage. Some old staples. So this box is done as well. Uh, we'll head over there. I see a good cardboard box. And then we'll throw up a license plate. Pretty nippy up here. Looks like just more socks. We do have some other things as well. So you have a charger. This person with the phones. Looks almost like a wet trunk bottle opener. Just socks. That's nothing. Underwear, socks, more phones. Could be a drug dealer of some sort, could be some something. It's just nothing, nothing, nothing. Got some more pennies in the corner. Throw that in a pocket. Probably got what's in here. Probably got five dollars just in pennies. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a match. It's actually a kind of cool tin. The vintage tin collection, so it's not vintage. If anything ever says vintage on it, it's probably not vintage. More phones. And a credit card. So this looks like all garbage as well. So generally speaking, I did a pretty decent job of uh, sorting out the garbage while I was there, at least showing what was on camera. I know a lot of people are requested to go through these boxes more in depth, so that's exactly what we're doing. A knife here, I don't want to stab myself. Coffee mug. Fridge. More glassware. I think that matches the glass that was in the other box from yesterday's video. There's more of this stuff. Ah, here we go. This is all your. Uh, Well, your kitchen stuff. Don't want to put your hand in here the wrong way. Grab one of these. Is this a decent one? It's not. If it ever says made in China, it's probably not that great. Not saying stuff made in China isn't great. It just, you guys get where I'm going. There's a decent amount of, what are these? These are kind of cool. Deco packs. Probably new. Do a little research on that. It looks like just old knives and miscellaneous kitchenware. I generally scrap knives. Um, I don't bring knives or anything really sharp like that to the flea market. It's one of those like situations you just don't want to be put into a bad situation. It's also kind of weird when somebody walks up to you with a knife and says, how much do you want for it? It's like, uh, what do you mean? Looks like all oh, more kitchen stuff, more kitchenware. Ooh, I can probably use that. Pocket test thermometer. Don't think I have a thermometer. That looks like it's all just gonna be. Uh, looks like it's just gonna be more kitchen knives and stuff. Seems to be just more mugs. Got a Christmas mug. This is glassware. What's in that bin? It looks like the rest of this is going to be glassware as well. So nothing too exciting here. You like pineapples? 
get yourself a pineapple glass. I know I said yesterday it's hard to see, hard to hard to photograph glassware. There you go. That's that. Uh, so that's another box down. It looks like we have like three boxes more, one less, more than one on the bottom of this. So we'll probably throw that. Oh, we also have a suitcase. So we'll probably throw that into another daily video um, and see what happens with that. But all right. Lastly, move this over. Uh, people have also requested to uh, talk a little bit about my computer, the new computer I just got. Um, I'll go in depth more of that in a future video, but anyone who's ever got like a new computer or new technology, I think computer is probably the most difficult one out of all it. Like if you get a new car, it takes time to get used to it. But generally speaking, you can get used to a new car in a day or two. A computer, you actually have to focus and spend a lot of hours working on it. So it's better in its ways, but it's just taken me a long time to learn a lot of the stuff. Um, which I knew was going to happen. It's kind of like whenever anyone gets any sort of new technology, they kind of procrastinate just to upgrade it just because they want they don't want to go through the whole learning process. So that's really what I have to say about it now. I'll probably go more in depth on it and give more of a review in the future once I kind of get used to all the different features. It is a Mac. Um, for people who might be wondering like why I got a Mac over a PC, just hit that subscribe button and check out my other videos. I talked about it a bunch. Uh, but we're going to throw another plate up there. What are we looking at right here? So we got a white and a blue right next to it. So we don't want to put a blue. Um, I do have another yellow one here. There's a yellow right next to a yellow kind of look weird. Sort of. You know what? I think we'll do that because we'll probably save one of these whites and blues for the next one, which is a solid to its left. So with that said, we're playing Alaska, the last frontier up there. I don't believe I have this plate up there. I'm going to do a quick look. I have a very similar plate to it. I just rec I just realized I have a very similar plate to it, but it's not the same plate. That one up there in the corner, the gold one or the yellow one is also Alaska. But this has a flag right in the middle. It also says the last frontier below it. That one does not. So it's a different plate going up on the same wall. All right. That might be a half a centimeter up too high, but I think it looks good. Camera's pretty cold. Oh yeah, that looks good. All right, so another plate up there. Uh, next week we'll add one more. I know someone did leave a comment saying that they're shipping one from Idaho. I think that arrived yesterday. Um, but yeah, almost finished with the wall. Very, very happy with it. It looks very, very cool. That's the right word. Artistic could be also a great word. Yeah, it's uh, it's awesome. So I um, think I'm going thrifting tomorrow. I'm not really sure right now. With all the snow, snow's really making it a tough day or a tough week, tough month, essentially, to make these videos and do things. I know a lot of other content creators have kind of switched over to posting once a week or twice a week or once every two weeks. I don't plan on doing that. I continue to push no days off for the rest of the year. Um, and we'll just figure out what happens from there. I'm, I'm not trying to just take a week off or take two weeks off from posting. I know other people are, but you know, that's up to them. I have no control over that. So I know I do get a bunch of comments. Hey, have, have you heard from this person? Have, you know, you heard from that person? They haven't been posting. I don't know. Um, I generally don't speak to a lot of other content creators. We kind of just do our own thing. So whatever they do is what they do. I'm doing what I can do. Um, I know it's tough, especially in the Northeast. It seems like a lot of people seem to move to California or Florida. I don't plan on moving. I plan on finishing this wall within the next month. So <laughs> I don't think this wall is going anywhere either. So uh, that's that. Awesome day all around. I, I'm happy I got out to do a little trash picking, although I couldn't really pick up a lot of stuff. 
just because of the weather. Uh, but yeah, there's always tomorrow. Never know. Never know what's going to happen. Great day to live the dream. Catch up with you guys tomorrow. If you guys enjoy the video, hit the like button. Subscribe down below for more treasure hunts. And we'll run it back again tomorrow. And I'll catch up with you guys next time for the next venture. Till next time, have a great day. Keep living the dream. Peace.